Hi, my name is Ndavo Mandela. I'm the chairman and the co-founder of Africa Rising Foundation. Africa Rising is about changing the image of Africa. And we felt that the best way to change the image of Africa would be through empowering the youth of Africa, through education. So we have an education program, which is a resource center in the village of uh, Kunu, where we will be setting up a library as well as a computer center, because we believe that in creating the future global citizens of Africans who can compete on a global level, they need to have a sound uh, knowledge of using technology and, of course, increase literacy. The second program we have is a media campaign called The African Dream. The African Dream is about getting captains of industry, artists, musicians, lawyers, financial directors, quantity surveyors, to talk about what is their dream for the African continent and how can they play their part in achieving the dream for the African continent and why, and why it is important to have our own dream as Africa because we have our own specific history. And finally, we have partnered with a company from Palo Alto in California with a company called SAGE, Students Advancing Global Entrepreneurship. And their whole thing is to get high school students to understand and uh, to start and become entrepreneurs through providing products and services because we feel that entrepreneurs are the key in driving the economy of the developed countries. I think it's, it's been very unfair the way that the international media has been portraying Africa. Yes, Africa has poverty. Yes, we have dictators and there's war. However, there's a lot more in Africa that exists. Africa is a place where you can take your family for an amazing holiday. Africa is a place where you can bring your businesses. Now, a lot of the multinational corporations are moving to Africa. Microsoft, uh, Apple, um, you, you name it, because they understand that Africa has the youngest population and they will be able to grow with their population as the economy develops. But now what we need to know or make our people understand is that they need to be at the forefront of this development. This, this uh, economic development cannot be uh, swallowed by the foreigners. For, Africans need to be at the forefront. So what we want to say is that let us partner with the Westerners coming in with Africans so that everybody can benefit simultaneously. There are already pockets of value of innovation uh, when you look at Africa, when you look at places like uh, Rwanda, when you places look at like, Ghana, uh, Nigeria. However, what is the most important thing that is stopping us from really achieving this goal is the lack of unity that Africa has. Once Africa and its leaders are able to come together and unite and open up the market, especially as far as the internet is concerned, and do away with some of these policies that we cannot integrate our internet, I believe that you will see so much innovation taking place on the ground, it will, be, it will surpass any China that has ever come before. For me, I will tell the youth to dream big, because together we can achieve anything. And from Nelson Mandela, he says that education is the tool that you can use to change the future. And more importantly, another one which I'd also like to say is that he says that you can judge a society by the way in which they treat their children.